Hello, I'm Paul Dajczyk, founder of Elastic Steel, a method of athletic conditioning and easy flexibility. Right now, we are going to go over the routine, including the stretching, strengthening, and the massage part for the carpal tunnel syndrome. We're going to massage certain muscles. We're going to massage the scalenes. Sometimes, when the scalenes pinch the nerve, people think that the impingement takes place here in the carpal tunnel, and the impingement can actually take place right here at the scalenes. While we're going to have the same effect, we're going to have the numbness and the pain, possibly even inability to put the fingers together into the OK sign. You might have all of that, and this might be coming from the scalenes. So a surgery right here to open the tunnel may not help. We're going to focus on that. At the same time, we're going to focus on the muscles that can pinch the nerve going all the way through. The median nerve comes here between the brachialis and the biceps. Over here, and we have the pronated teres also squeezing it. And of course, the tendons of various flexors of the fingers and the wrist can also squeeze that. So some of these muscles we're gonna stretch, and some of them we're gonna massage, and some of them we're gonna do both for. At the same time, we're also going to stretch the back of the hand. Now, the back of the hand technically has nothing to do with the median nerve. It's coming this way. However, these muscles right here can play a role. And the reason that they can play a role, and 99% of the time they ignore it, is imagine someone, for instance, sitting and working. Let's say somebody does a pedicure and they lift somebody's feet up. Or somebody's cutting hair in this position. Notice that if I want to lift, I need flexibility of these muscles to allow my arm to come in here. If this muscle is very tight, these muscles in front, the ones that can pinch and squeeze the nerve, are going to have to contract that much more to fight against these muscles here. The same thing happens if I want to bring my arm overhead, for example. So I'm bringing my arm overhead. I have muscles here, lower chest, I have teres major, I have latissimus dorsi, they're all pulling down hard. So if I don't have full range of motion, the muscles here, the upper chest, the deltoid, they have to work very hard and contract more than they need to contract to fight these muscles. What does that mean? That means that they're going to get tighter, they're going to get larger. The same thing here, this tendons are going to get tighter, they're going to get larger, the muscles are going to get tighter and larger. So some of the pressure of these muscles in front I can release by stretching these muscles here. The first thing we're going to do is a warm-up. What I'm going to give you now is a full routine, not an isolated exercise or two exercises. I'm going to give you a full routine and I would like for you to follow the routine. The first thing we're going to do is a warm-up. We're going to do the joint warm-up. Joint warm-ups are done in most sports and most athletic activities. We're going to do them now. The only difference is we're not simply going to think about one thing and do the joint warm-up and not pay attention. We're going to actually focus on it and we're going to breathe. What this allows is to connect the mind and the breath and the body and very often the muscles that contract, the same muscles that we can relax with stretches and we can relax them with a massage. They can contract right back if we're not mindful of them. So we're going to be mindful, meaning that we're going to focus on what we are doing and to make sure that we focus, we're going to breathe. Next, we're going to go to the biceps and the brachialis. The nerve usually passes between the biceps and the brachialis right under it, right here. Sometimes those muscles themselves can actually contract and squeeze the nerve. It's not very common. It's more common here. It's more common here. It's more common here, but this can happen. So we want to make sure that that's not happening. So we would simply press down and massage the biceps this way, pressing down into the bicep and we would also squeeze inward, okay? Squeezing inward, getting different parts of the biceps and also the brachialis under it more directly, okay? So right here, straight down and then squeezing in. We can lie down and do a massage with a ball if you wanted to. To do that, we would simply lie down 
place a ball under the bicep and just roll it all the way through. Okay. 